Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sun Terra. Hope everybody's well. I'm doing slightly better. I'm just gonna read until my voice gives out tonight. So I'm gonna I have an overabundance of content coming to you this evening. Uh, I, I gotta read when the reading's good because I've been battling with my arthritis and my inability to manage my time and life just happening and happening and happening for the last few weeks. So uh, the sun's out, even though it's a little cold and it snowed here in Northern Michigan today, which made me super sad considering it's like the middle of April, but it's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's okay. These things happen here. So I'm going to shut my pie hole. Gemini, we're reading for you for April, 2022. So let's, uh, let's see if we can get a flyer and get them out on the table for you. Whoa. Hi. How you doing? The tower. It's about to go down, apparently. Mm. What? All right. Okay. Um. Usually we see those storms coming. Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Something been going on way too long. How long has this been going on? The sun's going to shine, baby. The sun's going to shine, but I think that tower might have to drop. I'm going to shut my pie hole. I'm going to tip the camera down. I will say before I do that, though, if you are new here, welcome. Thanks for coming down and hanging out. If you'd like to hang out some more, you can hit the subscribe button, notification bell, and tap that like button if you would. So, you know, usually, I mean, I read, you know, whatever the cards say, but... And I'm really just here to have a good time, to be perfectly honest with you. But I'm here to deliver love and light to the world, even if I have to do that from an honest perspective that pisses people off. And I apologize if I do. <laughs> apologize if I do. Sometimes I'm just like, preach, mama said you preach. And I, I can't control that because I'm a mom and I love and care about you guys. But anyway, if you want to connect... With the collective, it, it helps if you hit the subscribe button, the notification on the like button. I guess that's what I've been told. Anyway, okay, so I'm going to tip down. I think the cards are awake. All right, let's do this, y'all. Gemini, April 2022. Two of Wands reversed. Stuck like Chuck. They confuse you. They confuse you. Why the Seven of Swords for your intended actions? Now I'm confused. Okay. Whoa. Hi. Hey. Two of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. It's trying to find balance in a situation. He's doing super good at... Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Sorry, I had to get after my child for a language issue. Okay, so two of pentacles, ten of swords underneath that. And that's how they fall. Nine of cups. He's doing a great job balancing on that fence, though. He really is. I'm afraid of what's going to happen when that black cat taps that fence, though. It's very teetery. Very teetery indeed. Hmm. Oh my gosh, he's not balancing on the fence. He's on a seesaw. <laughs> it, it's a two. It talks about decisions. Talks about decisions. And it's the decision to do what's best for you. Ending a painful cycle. Gathering up the nine cups you got left. And seeking your tenth. Okay. That's how I see that. Just based on just what I just saw. So, and I'm starting to get tired because my speech is starting to get slurred and I sound drunk and I swear to God, I'm not drunk. I haven't had a drop today. Anyway, all right, let's get another flyer for the person that you're dealing with, Gemini. Do, 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 do. The moon. How elusive.
Hmm. Huh. Yeah, okay. They could just be a Pisces, but that feels so sketch. So sketch. Okay. A couple shuffles. I'll shuffle until it tells me to stop. What are you all about? I'm going to address you and put you back. Page of Pentacles. Oh, that's, a, that's an apology. That's an apology. Let's see if it comes back out. swords the cards just ripped probably just could have been it but anxiety maybe anxiety anxiety and one's reversed queen of wands oh okay page of wands reversed the death card and the high priest Queen of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Oh, wow. Well, wow. Well, that's a conversation piece right there. That's a conversation piece. Narcissistic. I don't. I, I don't like throwing that word around, but it it is slightly narcissistic, and I think um they might be a little bit bipolar. Again, uh, terms I don't like throwing out, but I say it. If it comes out of my mouth, that means it was in my brain. It was in my brain when I'm reading cards. That means it needs to come out of my mouth. So, page of pentacles at the bottom of the deck again. She with an apology. Why is it two of wands here? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I asked the question, so now it's got to tell me. And then I'll get a random flyer for Six of Swords. Seven of Swords reversed. Oh, wow. Cherry reversed at the bottom of the deck. They want to close a gap. They want to come clean. They want to come clean. Whoa. All right. What's up with the six of swords on top of this two of wands reversed for Gemini? Nine of pentacles reversed. You ain't all about it, are you? You know about it. You're stuck at a little bit of a crossroads. Moving on from it. Not accepting any offers or anything. Okay, so physically moving on from it. I don't think you've mentally and emotionally moved on from this yet. Because you're still stuck at the crossroads. I think you still look back on this. The tower fell due to lies. And remember, I'm just reading energy. I don't know who said what. If you're a cross watcher up in here and it was the other way around, okay. <laughs> okay. Didn't mean to call you a narcissist. Didn't mean to you know, say that you're bipolar. It, I'm just reading energies, guys. I feel what I feel. I feel what I feel. Why is the Ten of Wands here for how Gemini feels about the person they're dealing with? That is burdensome. That's someone extremely weighted down. Knight of Wands. Oh my. That's a lot of sticks. Three of Pentacles. 
three people in that card. Cooperation. Cooperation. It could have had something to do with work. Do you feel like they play around a lot? snapped out what happened okay so became a little much kind of ignored him for a while found your happiness then all of a sudden something threw an anchor or a wrench in that and it was indecision again and then you closed it out and it led to a conflict okay Dealing with them is nothing but conflict. Why is the Seven of Cups reversed here for what you think of them? Strength reversed, Nine of Swords reversed on top of the Seven of Cups reversed. Why the Nine of Swords reversed? Some good talk. You might think they're little bat crap bonkers. Very confusing. They're elusive. At times draining. Throw a lot of things at you all at once. A lot of things at you all at once. The devil. Not saying they're toxic. I'm saying the devil has showed itself. Which means this is a binding connection. This is like soul level shit. This is a, this is a huge energetic tie. You're energetically tied to this person. Situation. What have you. It's an energetic tie. And these ones are relatively not so easy to break. And cycles like this happen a lot. And they tend to go in circles. They tend to go in circles. Like the five gets to the ten and then you're over it and you're done. And y'all are good for a minute. Separated and then... It's indecision time, and it's just, it's a vicious cycle with this person, I feel like, and I feel like you desperately want to break the cycle. So, um, before I get to your intended actions, let's dip into them a little bit, because this just turned into a soap opera. Why is the Knight of Wands reversed here? Temperance. Why is the phrase, we get along better when we're not speaking, popping into my head right now? There's peace. There is peace. There's peace. There's temperance. There's tranquility. One foot in the water, one foot out of the water. Things are flowing. They constantly have one foot in the water. Star reversed, Seven of Pentacles reversed, the Sun, the Queen of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. Oh, snap. That's false happiness. They haven't healed from this yet. This still irks them. It still irks them. They'll never say it, though. 
they'll never say it. They wanted desperately, somebody wanted desperately for this to be a match. And it just wasn't. Somebody wasn't what they said they were. Somebody wasn't what they said they were. All right. Why is the Queen of Wands here for how they feel about you? She's got some charisma. She's fun to hang out with. She's fiery. She's passionate. She's a go-getter. But that fire burns, don't it? Yeah, that fire burns. Judgment. Now I know why you wanted to resurrect it, Empress Reversed. You'd love to call back on this again. You, you know better. You know better. You know better. It can't grow in the state it's in. How about that? That's not the one you marry. That's not the one you marry. Okay. Okay. That's not the one you marry. All right. Why is the page of wands reversed here for what they think of you? The world. They're not speaking to you. I'm telling you that right now. It, it, it might have been like five words in the last six months if they're speaking to you at all. I don't think they're speaking to you. But they're still hung up on it. So it's over, but it's not over. They think you're still hung up. Somebody's still hung up. Are you still hung up, Gemini? Is a part of you still hung up on this? That's not the one you marry. But they're the Queen of Wands, so it's a good time. I'm not going to allude to too much. It's a good time. But that's not the one you marry. And I'm leaving it at that. Back over here. Gemini. What are Gemini's intended actions toward the person they're dealing with? Why the Seven of Swords? Page of Cups. Seven of Cups reversed, Queen of Cups. That's mean. Fool at the bottom of the deck. One more. Oh, I got it. Okay. Hermit. Reversed. Ace of Swords, bottom of the deck. Okay, so you're not stringing them along anymore. You're not stringing them along. It, okay, so... Making plans is... Okay. Making plans. Planning to return for something. Even if it's one last conversation or, or, or closure. Not that anybody's ever entitled to closure. Ever. <laughs> We think we are, but we're not. They might try to, you know, say, I, okay, I care, I, I care too much about you to string you along. I, I don't want to confuse you. Why the hermit reversed? Blocking, isolating, is they're gonna, you're gonna isolate from them. It's like you're thinking about having one last conversation, but that's all it's gonna be. 
I care too much about you to string you along. That, that uh, It's running. It's like a movie in my head. I care too much about you to keep stringing you along. Okay. Okay. Why the death card for their intent for the other party's intended actions toward Gemini? It feels kind of like the same vibe. The Fool. Allowing the death to occur. Allowing the ending to happen so new beginnings can begin. The tower. Ace of Wands reversed. It's, it's new things. It's new ventures. It's not relighting that wand again. Not relighting the wand again. Just letting it fall apart. Letting the death cycle happen. Okay. Okay. Page of Swords. Sometimes that little page of swords tells us stuff we don't want to hear. And it's an indication that sometimes difficult conversations need to happen. And he's a page. So it could be on a rather immature level. I don't want to accuse people of being immature. But, oh, the emperor was at the bottom of the deck. That's the one you marry. The emperor is the one you marry. <laughs> That's the one that has their shit together. Um, you know, in order to avoid this, this cycle of madness going on up over here. Why is the hanged man reversed here as an, as an outcome, as a potential outcome? Why the hanged man reversed? Yeah, part of you always... It, uh, <clears throat> part of you may always wonder. But don't stay stuck there. Don't stay stuck there. Please don't stay stuck there. This is sort of reversed. What would have happened? What would have happened? Nine of Cups reversed at the bottom of the deck. Do not stay stuck there. Because that, that leads to this and we don't want this. It's the closing of a chapter, Gemini. You, you have to let the chapter close. You don't want to keep rerunning this, this toxic, crazy, insane cycle over and over and over and over again. Eventually it needs to end. It needs to end. It needs to end. You might not want it to, but it needs to. Why the high priest? Why the high priest? Why the high priest? Nine of cups upright. Page pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And there it is. I rosy outcomes, rosy outcomes, rosy outcomes. Wow. I don't know. Meditative silence. Damn. This is a roller coaster, wasn't it? Bet you're glad this ride's over. Okay, let's get a wisdom. Mm. I feel like eventually an apology is going to be extended and this is going to close out for both of you. And our next conversation is going to happen because um, intentions on, on somebody's side here may not have been so pure. Again, guys, I just read cards. I just read energies. Things get thrown at me at like a million miles an hour and I, and I have to sort it out. <laughs> so if I told somebody's story, cool. If it's not your story, it, was, it wasn't meant for you. 
and I stand by that, these are all Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, so. You want it for a good time, you want it for a long time? Not my business. Truth be told, number 14, four plus one is five. Five is change. Five is change. Forgot to get the book out. Five is change. So, truth be told, number 14. Honesty, accepting things at face value, coming out of denial, the willingness to be transparent, clarity of communication. There is the truth, which is the essence of a thing, and then there is a truth, subjective according to the philosophy of the adherent or believer. This is not a time for debate about which is truer, about which truth is truer. This is a time when you are called to proclaim your truth out loud and be willing to be transparent, honest, and open in your communication with others and with yourself. Nothing less than surrender to what is, peeling off the layers of denial that kept you tied to an illusion will set you free. Be authentic and gloriously flawed, and spirit will answer with miracles. All right, here's a relationship message. People tell you who they are very quickly if you're willing to listen to what they have to say and pay attention to how they behave. This card calls you to engage in heartfelt, open conversation. It's time to see the truth about what you share with each other and tell the truth about who you are and what you need. No one can do that for you. Remember that your truth is based in your personality and experience up to now. A higher truth will be found after you communicate honestly and see how doing so has helped you become more attuned to yourself. Don't hold back. Speak your truth and listen. Didn't I say something about an honest conversation needing to happen? <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys. Gemini, I love you. My Gemini babies. Thanks for coming down. I appreciate you. I send you off with peace, love, and light. I hope you have a just banging rest of your April. And I will catch you next time. Whatever next time may be. Take care of yourself.